Good night everyone. Good night. As Mr. Hodge said, Kali and Henry Morton. And I was the principal at the Bastia High School from 2011 to 2015, August of 2015. The question is, all those students and teachers manufactured their sickness. There was no, there was no doctor reports of substance filed with the chief medical officer's office. <laughs> Dr. Marty, you, re you really see you're saying that today on the radio? I have some comments. I don't have a problem with people asking questions, being concerned, you know, wondering about compassion and so on and so forth. I have a problem and it is convenient. The same people who are asking a lot of questions now about the hypothetical watched when the actual illnesses were taking place. Never asked a question. Never asked a question. And a number of them were doctors. Divided by the Bastille High School by a fence. Never asked a question. The ambulance used to make trips up there three and four times in a week. Never a question. People broke out with sores and all kind of things. Never a question. But everybody concerned now conveniently about hypothetically, maybe something that happened. And I am not saying that something may not happen. But I am saying that if we had a quarter of the concern back then, we would not have been here. We would not have been here. I begged, I appealed, I wrote discreetly. I said, listen, this thing is going to explode. I was naive enough to think that because it was youth, because it was education, because it was health, that somebody would listen. We didn't have to be here. If people had listened, we didn't have to be here. But we are here now. We are here now. And I have listened to the experts they have said, but I am convinced that all of the mitigating measures and all that needs to be done, that it is being done. I am thinking, I am thinking that there is a fear, a genuine fear that this is going to become a reality. There's a genuine fear that this is going to become a reality. Concern and everybody is so, you know, compassionate oh, now. And, and, and what is going to huh? I have teachers, oh, no. teachers who I worked with for years. Never a sick day, never a sick day. Hard working teachers, and every minute they're on sick leave. I had parents in my office crying, crying. Because nobody would listen, crying in frustration, right? But all of a sudden, everybody very caring now, right? Move on with the, listen, and half of the Bassey High School story has not been told. Half of the Bassey High School story has not been told. Because my thing was not, I was not on a mission on a politics. I, as an institutional leader, wanted the children and the students out of Bastia High School because it was unhealthy. It was unhealthy. There are, up to this day, there are, there are septic tanks that were built when Bastia High School was first built that never received a drop of effluent. All the thing went in the soil. I, the public works gentleman is up there. Right? If I were a different person, I could have made this thing very nasty. But that was not my mission. That was not my mission. Right? We still found, after the fixing up and everything, the number of abandoned septic tanks that were found. And there were no drawings to point out where they were. Because apparently work was being done up the school all the time and nobody was capturing what was being done. Okay, well, right?
Sorry. So I want to say, people must be honest. If you have your own political agenda, say that. Don't no, come and mask it up, no, come pick no, you, you clean and you're concerned and so on. It is disingenuous. Because there was no problem. So why did school have to shut down twice? That um, it, was, it was a manufactured issue, sir. Oh, it was a manufactured issue? Thank you for joining us on KN Whoop. I am Carissa Cable, affectionately known as Candy. Have a wonderful day.